Okay, here we have a sharpshooter. And I really love these insects because they're really neat looking. It's about half an inch long. And as you can tell, it's a type of leaf hopper. But if you look closely, you can see that they resemble cicadas, that they actually look really similar. When I was younger, I was like, you know, these things look the same. They've got the same kind of eyes, the same antenna, similar type of wings, although the colors and markings are different. And they use these piercing, sucking mouth parts to suck the fluids out of plants, the xylem. So it actually turns out that they are in the same family. Anyhow, the sharpshooter gets its name because there's not a lot of nutrition in the xylem of these plants that it sucks out. So it processes lots of fluids. And there's lots of uh, excess water that it needs to excrete. Okay, So uh, you get a little bit of nutrition and a lot of excess water. So it shoots the water out of its back end, which you probably have seen a couple times in this video, in a thin, tight stream. If it's on a plant, it shoots it out several inches behind its body, looking like a sharpshooter or a marksman shooting a projectile. Um, it's a tight stream, you know? And that's pretty much how they got the name sharpshooter. It's not because they're so accurate at jumping. It's the way they excrete that excess water. So a really cool insect. Okay, so this, from what I can gather, there's a spittle bug in there. Spittle bugs are related to cicadas and sharpshooters and leafhoppers because that's what they are. They're a type of leafhopper. I've been pretty curious about this since I was young, uh, well, since a teenager, that they were related because they have the same type of eyes and, you know, body structure and stuff. So I looked it up and sure enough, they are related to the leafhoppers and the cicadas. But, uh, yeah, they have this spittle stuff to protect them from the harsh rays of the sun and from predators. They're nice and safe in that spittle. But I don't know how they breathe in there. I have no idea how that part works. So as you can see, it's got a very similar structure to the cicada itself. they got the same type of eyes, the same body structure, same type of mouth with piercing organs for sucking the sap and juices out of plants, the xylem. So, uh, pretty neat, huh? You could tell this is a very small insect, very tiny insect, but I'm going to place it back in its spittle to protect it from the sun. Really cool, huh guys? There you go. Spittle bug. There's a cicada skin. It comes out of the ground looking like this, then it pulls itself out of this skin and emerges with those big wings that you're used to seeing on these guys. Um, you know, the cicada is the one that makes that characteristic hot, late summer day whirring sound. But this is related to the spittle bug and the sharpshooter because leafhoppers, sharpshooters, and spittle bugs are in the cicada family. Can you see that bit of resemblance? That arched back, the eyes on the sides of the head, the triangle-shaped face. There you go, man. All in the same family. Now look at the size difference. Right? It's a big creature. So once again, you can see on this adult cicada's body structure that it's very similar to the leafhoppers and the spittle bugs. You've got the, the eyes on the side, the kidney bean shaped body and the uh, well the wings are similar shape and everything to leaf hoppers so and the antenna by the way the two little antennas sticking out the top so as you can tell it's uh, there's a lot of variations in this group of insects mostly variations with the color but also variations in size and also variations in shape so it's a really fun group of insects to watch out for. Well, okay, so I intended this to be a video just about sharpshooters, but as you can tell, I got carried away again. So anyhow, thanks for watching my video. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.